Hey guys, okay, so I just responded to my other little location here by the apartment complex. And this is just one of those things that you just gotta smile and laugh at and realize that you don't know everything and you learn stuff every day. And, uh, you know, uh, I accidentally uh, put 20 ounce bottles in there and it wasn't vending because it's set to 16.9 ounce. Yeah. Well, I ate the sweet potato already, so my attempt at making this aesthetic has failed. And here's my board of personal goals that I want to do. Um, and I'm not going to show too much of it because it actually gets really personal with like debt and stuff. So, yeah. All right. What's up, guys? Cashflow Coma here. Uh, my name's Andy, by the way. So, yeah, a little about me. I'm born and raised in Texas. Um, I was an army paratrooper for four years, basically. I jumped out of a lot of planes. It was a great experience and I had a lot of fun, but I just kind of wanted to move on. I had saved a lot of money in the army, actually. Um, I Actually, I probably could have been a homeowner in the army, but that didn't happen. It's okay, though. Um, what I did do was I took that money and I started investing it. Actually, if you go back to my oldest videos, you will see that I was in the army still in my barracks room. <laughs> I was in my barracks room making finance videos and um, you know so it's pretty funny that I that was doing that and uh, you know it was a good experience and then I just kind of stopped and then a year later I'm, I'm back and really what happened was I was working at an oil and gas company in the nice corporate office right here in town and it didn't work out and I just wanted to move on and um, well really actually they, they didn't like me a lot but that's okay too. Um, then luckily I had been investing and, in, you know, especially in when March hit, I bought a lot of great stuff. I bought Uber, Tesla, uh, Wynn Resorts, Royal Caribbean, um, AT&T, a couple of REITs. Um, I had put a lot of money in there and I honestly made a lot of money doing that. Um, I was living off of the REITs really. Um, then I started getting into the vending thing and that honestly was like the coolest little gig, you know, I thought, wow, this is it's a cool little money maker, you know? And then I got the credit card readers in there and then I bought the more, more locations. And then it started becoming like this really serious, like it, it started to get, pick up some momentum, you know? And then I saw the Washeteria for sale and I was like, okay, I'm buying that. Uh, I knew how profitable Washeterias were. Um, all those types of businesses, you know, Washeterias, uh, I'm so used to calling it a Washeteria now. Um, you know, a laundromat, laundromats, gas stations, gas stations too, another one that I haven't spoken about uh, really ever here, uh, storage complexes, um, what's the other one, self car washes. Now everyone knows that, you know, real estate, making rental income, having your tenant pay down your mortgage for you, blah, 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 you know, we all know that, that's number one, hands down, we know that. I'm talking about self automated businesses that you don't really have to be there to get paid. Um, Gas station's another really cool one that I'd love to get into. Um, you know, chances are if it's the dinkiest little convenience store in town and like a really bad part of the neighborhood, it probably makes a lot of money. Um, you know, so that's something else. Anyway, then I bought the laundromat and, uh, you know, I bought that in September and, you know, now here we are. My other future goal is I'd like to buy next year, so 2022, I'd like to be investing in a quadplex and living in one and renting out the other three units or I'd like to uh, own another business another maybe another laundromat so uh, yeah no they're 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 great businesses we're doing really good on the laundromat too by the way <laughs> Thank you. 
Um, I know I showed you all that all that random footage uh, from this morning primarily. That was my little vending day. I do it Tuesday and Fridays mostly. Um, you know, we actually hit a record at that factory. Um, we did like fourteen fifty that last month. That's what I do. Oh, I had to stop by the laundry equipment store and pick up some coin boxes. Um, the dryers are not up and running yet because I don't have the coin boxes for them because they shipped me the wrong ones. And uh, so they're shipping me up from... I'm actually not going to say where it's from because then you'll instantly know who I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, their coin boxes are on the way and uh, the correct ones that fit. And um, that's pretty much it, you know. I'm just trying to be happy and healthy and make money while I'm doing it. So I really appreciate all your views and, you know, it's actually funny, you know, looking at the analytics, a good portion of you, me, like like 15%, sometimes 25% of you guys are actually guys like almost double my age. So I'm thinking, hmm, they're probably laundromat owners and looking at me like some lab rat trying to get out of a labyrinth, the labyrinth being the business of laundromats and I, I just think I just thought it was really funny you know I appreciate you all and I hope I'm, I'm not being too dumb about my journey of being a laundromat owner and uh, you know hopefully a future multi-business owner which technically I already am with the vending but you know 1450 a month that you can't live off of that anyway um, yeah about one sometimes up to three percent of you guys are from Canada and the United Kingdom uh, welcome thank you for watching um, I've never been to either of those countries. Uh, uh, I've been to all over Europe, though. Uh, also, this is the first video that I've shot here. This is uh, my place here. And like I said, it's honestly such an upgrade. This is where I live. This is my living room. I, uh, I thought that's like something cool and trendy that you could do. Yeah, guys, thank you all for watching, and have a great day. Have a great new year, by the way, and I look forward to doing my best in 2021.